no, como no me carga bien la página. Google Teacher. Good evening, Carlota. How are you? Good evening. Hey, hello. Teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, Carlota, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Hello, hello. Hello, Claudia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you, Claudia? Fine. Fine, thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Carlota, hello. Good evening, Carlota. How are you?
Okay, it's time for us to start. Hello, good evening, students. How are you, participants? Um, Jose, Reina, Mauricio. Good evening, Claudia, Carlota, and Luz Angelica. Welcome. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, we are just, well, it's time for us to, to start, right? It's time for us to, to begin. Yes, and this is what we have. So welcome once again. And today we start our video conference number 19. So imagine how fast this is going. We are practically running because we just have today and tomorrow and that's all. We go very, very fast. Imagine we have come into something like incredible these days. So let's start, right? Topic vocabulary practice, video conference number 19. And this is what we have today is Thursday, July the 29th, 2021. That's what we have for today. Video conference number 19. And, hey, good evening, Carla. And uh, there is my name. Yes, very good. So let's have a look. Let's see our object for today's class. We have a specific objective to follow today, to do today, and it's the following. There you are. Okay, so this is what we have. It says at the end of this session, participants will be able to practice vocabulary of unit number four. So imagine, right? Like we have developed so many topics, many, many topics related to, uh, to this, to the unit number four, right? We have worked with different topics like uh, prepositions of place, the reason there are, among many, many others. Yes. So let's see what we had for today. And this is what we have first vocabulary practice, and we have this mini exercise, right? This mini vocabulary exercise today in which we practice a little bit of vocabulary. So we have these words uh, illustrated, like for you to have them in mind, what they mean and everything. So we say, first of all, runabout. This is the first uh, picture I present to you, a runabout, runabout. Then we have number two, Avenue. Number two is Avenue. That's a common word. We have practiced and we have learned in these classes, right? Run about in Avenue. We also have intersection. We are going to see what an intersection is today, right? And finally, we have, well, we have two more directions, right? And as you can see, the picture here represents one way another way, that way, this way, so all of that, right? And finally, we have rod, rod, rod. So uh, that is what we have for today, right? As part of the vocabulary, we are meant to practice, yes. So again, runabout, intersection, avenue, directions, and rod. What do you have to do, students? Well, provide a simple definition of these words. And as also uh, as it is also requested, please give us an example. Formulate, use your creativity, right? Use your creativity to formulate an example like this. Um, Roosevelt Avenue is, or for example, let's say, um, what? The bank, right? The bank is on Roosevelt Avenue, for example, right? Or the, the school, yes, the school is on the Fifth Avenue, right? That's what I want you to do. I want you to practice, like you have five, so I expect you to have five examples using this vocabulary. That's what we have um, for today, okay, people? Is it clear what you okay. have to do? Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. So do it please in this moment. Mm -hmm. 
in case you have questions, let me know so we can check together, right? These are very, very easy words. And uh, well, you just have to, to practice them, right? As best as possible. Yes, roundabout, avenue, intersection, directions, and rock. Complete it, please. Complete it, and then we check it together. Yeah. Tenemos que poner la definición también, teacher. Simple definition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Keep it simple. A simple definition. Mm -hmm. And then we have the words, right? Yes. Roundabout, avenue, intersection, road. And we give examples like uh, the school is in the intersection between San Salvador and San Marcos, for example, right? Just to give you an idea. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Carla. Can you, can you repeat, please? Yes. Uh, you have to create one definition and one sentence, one example using these pictures that we have here, Carla, in this vocabulary, of course. For example, runabout, avenue, intersection, road, and directions. For example, um, what? Mm, let me see. Uh, to give you one example. Ah, yeah, here we have. Yes. A Paseo General Escalón is on Mas Ferrer runabout. Only that. Okay. A, let me see another example. The hospital is on Roosevelt Avenue. Like that. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening, Magdaleno. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, nice. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, teacher, excuse me. Yeah. What is the instruction to this day? Sure. <laughs> in this moment, um, in this moment, Magdaleno, I present to you this vocabulary, these pictures related to like um places I will say, but also related to um, prepositions and, and, and uh, words to describe the location of things, right? So we have this vocabulary, runabout, avenue, intersection, road, and directions. Mm, what you have to do right now in this moment, uh, Magdaleno is first, write down a simple definition, give me a definition. What is a runabout? ¿Qué es un runabout? ¿Qué es eso? Una definición corta, sencilla, chiquita. Y un ejemplo, utilizando, por ejemplo, eh, Mas Ferrer runabout has a lot of traffic or has a lot of cars. Mm -hmm. Or there is, for example, listen to this example, escuchen este, este ejemplo. There is a lot of 
profit on Mas Ferrer runabout. Got it? Magdalena. Ok, entonces no es una definición de lo que es, sino que es una, una frase relacionada, dos frases relacionadas a eso. No, both, ambas. Ah, ambas. Ajá, oh. Una pequeña definición y una, un ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you. Thanks to you. Lizette, sorry. De cada una. Eh, three at least, de tres al menos. Ok. Y Ajá. roundabout es como, es, es como redondel acá. Exacto. No. Yes. Sí. Ah, ok. Thank you. Nice. You need a three examples, teacher? Three examples at least, yeah. Okay, but let me understand. You need a one definition and three example, examples? One definition, one example. Okay, oh, okay loose, okay. like this. Three words, no. select three words. Oh, one okay, definition okay. and one example. I huh? got it. Yeah. Yes, that's what I want you to have. In there. Yes, that's what I need you to have in there. Yes. Okay, in the meantime, meanwhile you're working, mientras trabajan, les comparto la asistencia, entonces ustedes me dictan, ¿verdad? Me dicen present, you just have to tell me present. Please, 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 please. Uh, Carlota Hueso de Cepeda. Carlota. Claudia Elisez García Recinos. Present. Thank you. Diana Margarita Campos Benítez. Liliana Idalia Serrano Martínez. Present teacher. José Arnoldo Prea Jovel. Present. Okay. José Iván Portillo Márquez. Carla Patricia Pineda López. Present. Thank you. Crisia Vanessa. Enriquez Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, Crisia. Eh, let's see. Uh, Lisef del Carmen Pineda Ventura. Yes. Present. Okay. Lucía del Carmen. Uh, no, Lucía del Carmen. Lucía Gabriela Vázquez Benjiva. Lucía, Lucía here. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillos. There she is. Present. Working. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Presente. Present. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let me see Mauricio y Saúl Calderón Esquivel. Present. Thank you. Uh, Reina, okay, excellent. Uh, Reina Guadalupe Rivas Ventura. Yes. Present. Ra okay, Raúl Osvaldo Ramírez Fabián. Sara Judith Miranda Cruz. Stephanie Emperatriz Orellana Castillo. Tomasa Ibeth Ramirez Castillo. Present. Thank you. Verónica Jasmine Ramirez Ramirez. And Yesenia Elizabeth Cárcamo Serrano. Present. Thank you very much. Excellent. Yeah. Very good students. Thank you. I appreciate it. Did you finish? Finish, finish, finalizamos? Yes, no?
Bless you, Reina. Bless you. Take care. Salud, Reina. Bless you. How do you say salud? Thanks, in English, teacher. Pero salud así para... <laughs> en esos casos, bless you. Ok, entonces cuando escuche que alguien le diga bless you, okay. se refiere a eso, ¿verdad? Ok. Mm. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you finish, students? Did you finish, finish, finish? Ajá. Finish, finalizamos. Los ejemplos, sí, teacher, finish. pero la definición no sé qué Ok, poner. ok. Si no logran la definición, a rasgos en español, en inglés, si no la tienen, no hay ningún problema. Aquí les voy a compartir yo. So, don't worry. Ok. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Pero los ejemplos sí, al menos sí. Unos tres ejemplos. Yeah. Ajá. Luz Angélica, you finished, right? Yeah, I guess yes. you told me you're done. Thank you. Carla, Patricia, Crisia, what about you? Finish? Yes, teacher. Okay. Crisia? No, teacher. Okay. Como acabo uh, de uh, yeah. no. It's true. Sí, perdón, Crisia, no le expliqué en su momento. Uh, we are working on this vocabulary. Tenemos estas cinco palabras, ¿verdad? Eh, run about, que como puede ver en la picture, es como, ¿cómo sería, Crisia? Redondel. <ríe> exactly. Tenemos una avenue, una intersection, una direction y un rod, ¿ok? Entonces, te elige tres de esas palabras, three of them, y escribe una pequeña definición y un ejemplo. Quizás lo que más me gustaría que trabajaran es la, 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 los ejemplos, ¿verdad? La definición si la tienen, si no la tienen, no hay ningún problema. De hecho, aquí yo se la voy a compartir. Entonces, para darle un ejemplo, Crisia, there is a lot of traffic in Masferrer runabout. ¿Se entiende el ejemplo? Ok, entonces así. Uh -huh. Y ahí puede usar there is, there are y todas las prepositions que hemos trabajado. ¿okay? Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. Uh, Luz Angélica, un ejemplo rapidito. Y luego voy con Ivette Ramírez. And after Ivette Magdaleno. Uh, sorry, Luz. Go. Intersection. There is a point where 4th Street intersect. Okay. Uh, my car is parking in the intersection corner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Luz. Uh, Ivette. Castillo. Okay. Avenue, okay. the school Santa Catalina is, is in the Avenue Cuba. In Cuba Avenue. Uh, Cuba Avenue. Uh -huh. okay. Correct, thank you, like that. Very good. Yeah. Nice Direction. example. Yes. Direction. Uh -huh. My co-worker ne ne next the direction of the clients. Of the clients. Very good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, thank you very much. Carla Patricia, one or two examples, the most. Mm -hmm. El Salvador Hospital is intersection Manuel Enrique Araujo. Okay. In the, in the intersection. In the. En Metro Centro is in Italia road, Roundabout. Italia Roundabout. Uh -huh. Roundabout. Mm -hmm. Roundabout. Yes, very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Reina, can I have one example, please? Miss Guadalupe Rivas. Yes, teacher. Uh, the university is on 25 North Avenue. Y este, tengo otra, pero no sé si está bien. Díganla, comparte. Escribí, the, the, music, the music store is in front of the direction to the American Street and Fort North Avenue. Excellent. Avenue, Avenue. Avenue. Mm -hmm. Avenue. Very good. Yes. That is totally correct. Yes. Thank you, Reina. Very good job. Yes. So these are the words we have, students. Eh, esas son las palabras que tenemos. 
runabout. Por ejemplo, regálenme ejemplos de runabouts que ustedes conocen. Aparte de Max Ferrer. Italia. Eh, Italia. Brasil. Brasil. O el orden de Malta. Luceiros. Ok, ajá. Yes. Luceiros, ajá. México, please. Salvador del mundo. Ajá, Salvador del mundo. México, please. Plaza México, ¿no? Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. Avenues. Conoz eh, díganme avenues que ustedes conocen. Avenues that you know. Avenida España. Ok. España Avenue. Uh -huh. Yes. Another. Roosevelt, por ejemplo. La Cuscatlán. Cuscatlán. La 25. 25, ajá, uh -huh. 25th. In that case, it's 25th, ajá. Uh -huh. It's in ordinals. Yeah, in ordinals, yeah. Mm -hmm. The direction are uh, every time in ordinals. Yes, ordinals, yeah. When it comes to that, that is going to be in ordinals. Yes, that is totally correct. Uh, interceptions, students, mm. uh -huh. Intersections. Roosevelt. Roosevelt, Roosevelt Avenue. Uh -huh. And... 25, 25, what is 25. the pronunciation? 25. 25th. 25th. Yeah. 25th Avenue. Avenue. Mm -hmm. Avenue. Uh, Roosevelt Street and... No, es Alameda. ¿Cómo se dice Alameda? Alameda Roosevelt. Yes. Ajá, la Alameda Roosevelt y la 25 Yeah, Avenida. that's a nice question. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's... Clarify me. What is Alameda in Spanish? What is that? Do you remember the meaning of Alameda, but in Spanish? Mm. Desde ahí tendríamos que empezar. ¿Qué es una Alameda? ¿Qué entendemos Alameda, pero qué es una Alameda? Ajá. Uh -huh. The people who drive, los compañeros que manejan, ajá. Uh -huh. Google. I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, it, it can be taken as an avenue. Yes. Based on the English, you take it as an avenue. Yeah. So, yeah. Avenue, then. Uh-huh. Avenue. 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 Uh-huh. Uh, there's Roosevelt Avenue. Avenue, Avenue, Avenue. <laughs> Avenue. Yes, excellent. Very good. Yes, rod. ¿Qué es una rod? Si una street es pequeña, una calle es pequeña, una rod es carretera. Exactly, carretera. Dígame, dígame rods que son bien famosas en el país. Panamá. Chorros, litoral. Panamericana, litoral. Uh, troncal, uh -huh. yes, that is correct. Any other? Any other? Uh -huh. Only those, solamente esas, yes. Carretera de oro. Exactly, oro, uh -huh. yes. So those the are, most right? Uh -huh. The mm -hmm. most famous, those are, yes, very good. Questions about this vocabulary? Tienen dudas sobre este vocabulario? Is it clear? Teacher, I have a doubt. Yes. Yes, I have a doubt about one of my examples. Uh -huh. Please me. listen. Listen and corrígeme como es. And correct. Correct me, please. Please listen and correct me. Okay. Intersection. Is the place where two main way cross them. Quise decir, la intersección es el lugar donde dos vías principales se cruzan. They, lo, get, lo con they ¿Mm? get connected. Instead of cross them, yeah, get connected. Get connected. 
-huh. En lugar de cross them. En lugar de cross them. Es que cross them se presta para decir achar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Achar una respuesta. Cross the answer. O sea, colóquele una X a su respuesta. Cross the answer. Por eso. Uh -huh. um, vaya, entonces este no sería get connected. Exacto. Donde se uh, conectan, <ríe> se vinculan, se articulan. Yes, that is correct. Va, va, ok, esa era la, la duda que tenía. Gracias. Ok, okay. Lisset, Yesenia, Crisia, ¿dudas? Iliana, José Corea, ¿questions? No. No, teacher. Oh. La pronunciación de redondel. Runabout. Run about, run about, run about, run, run, run about, run about, run about, run about. Run about. Exacto. Ajá. Nice. Teacher, solo una pregunta. Yes, Lisa. En, direc en dirección, o sea, dirección, o sea, sería la dirección completa o cómo? Yeah, directions. Mm -hmm. Complete direction, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Estamos ahí todos en sintonía? Yes. Bien, ok. El siguiente, la siguiente lámina nos presenta el vocabulario un poquito más pesadito. Un poquito más completo, pero es de mucha utilidad. ¿Cómo decimos peatón? ¿Cómo decimos pasarela? ¿Cómo decimos cruz calle? ¿Cómo decimos acera? Todo eso aquí está, ¿ok? Entonces, empecemos con crosswalk. Repeat it, please. Aquí sí quiero escucharlo repetir. Crosswalk. La primera. Crosswalk. 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 Ajá. Crosswalk. Ajá. That is like the zebra step. Es lo que le llaman como paso de zebra. Así se le llama, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. Sí. Uh -huh. For you to sí. walk, exactly. For you to pass by, for you to walk by, right? Crosswalk, crosswalk, crosswalk. Gangway, gangway, gangway. Yeah. Yes, gangway. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gangway. Yes. The person who walks, ¿cómo se dice peatón in English? Pedestrian. Pedestrian. Yeah. The person who walks on the street. Mm -hmm. The person who walks on the street. La persona que camina en una calle, ¿verdad? O sea, no camina directamente en la calle, sino que circula, ¿verdad? Se desplaza más bien. So, that is pedestrian. Pedestrian, yes? Mm -hmm. Then we have acera. How do you say acera in English? Sidewalk. 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 Crosswalk. Crosswalk, gangway, gangway, pedestrian, pedestrian, gangway. sidewalk, 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 pedestrian, gangway, crosswalk. Sorry, teacher. Um, I can hear you. Pedestrian, what is? Pedestrian is the person who walks in the city. The person loose, that is the person who does not have a car. The person who does not use any transportation. That person prefers walking in the streets. Mm -hmm. En español, transeunte. Peatón. Peatón, ajá. Ajá, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it useful? ¿Creen que le sirva este vocabulario? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bien. Una palabra de todas las palabras que están acá que les he mostrado, seleccionen solo una y elaboren una oración. Solo eso. Only that. Okay. Okay. Utilizando there is, there are, prepositions o quantifiers, el que les convenga mejor, el que les asiente mejor. Yes.
Teacher is only one example with only one word. Is right? Correct. Yes. Right. Okay, finish. Nice. Excellent. Very good. Finish class, did you finish? Yes, finish, finish. Finish. Yes, excellent. Very good, very, very good. Ahora bien, por favor, háganme un gran, gran favor. No me comenten su ejemplo. Escríbanmelo en el chat, write it in the chat, escríbanmelo en el chat y yo los leo. Then I'll read them, please. Practiquen su writing. Uh -huh. Ahí. There is a woman in the sidewalk, okay. The gangway is very important for all the time. Yes, the sidewalk is fluted. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Metro Centro and Intercontinental Hotel are connected because are two uh -huh, with gangway. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, Let's see, there is a woman on the sidewalk. The gangway is very important for the pedestrians, yes. Respect the pedestrian on the way all the time. On the sidewalk, my home, they sell fruit. Mm -hmm. Quizás aquí, Liana, le agregaría near, cerca de mi casa, para que tenga más congruencia, para conectarlo un poquito más, okay? On the sidewalk, mm -hmm. okay. yes, near my house, they sell fruit. The Beatles crossing, the crosswalk is a good picture. Yes, do you like the Beatles, Jose Correa? It's a good picture. The song, famous song, right? And well, a bang, Jose. I bought bread in the morning, the lady who sold in the, in the sidewalk, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, yes, ah, okay, <laughs> those are not examples. Very good, thank you, thank you. I'm just waiting for the others, so espero algunos más, me hacen falta. There are missing some others. There are some others missing. Y 
Tecna University, there are three gangways. On the crosswalk, there is no traffic, okay? Very good, yeah. That's totally correct. Very good. I am missing Claudia. I'm uh, no more, you know, that. I'm missing Claudia, Reina, I guess, and Yesenia, if I'm not mistaken. Yvette. Oh, no, it's just any I got it. Yvette says, my sister is in the gangway of the university. Very good. Yes, that is totally, totally correct. Amazing, muy bien. Así es como deben de construirlo. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I am very, very happy because, yeah, you made it. Excellent. Can I move on? ¿Puedo desplazarme? Can I continue? Participants, yeah? Yes, you can, teacher. Okay, perfect, yes. perfect, perfect. Yes, now we have this, right? This is something you know already. So we're going to practice. Ya aquí les comparto el vocabulario. Ustedes escriben, ¿verdad? There is, there are. Y haciendo uso de todo lo que les presento acá. ¿verdad? Va en orden. Backpack. Me gustaría que, repitara, que repitiéramos estas palabras. So, check pronunciation. Let's repeat. Backpack. Backpack. Uh-huh. Backpack. 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 Bicycle. 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 Camera. 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 Escuchen bien la pronunciación. Primero escuchen y luego repitan. Camera. 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 Tranquilos. <ríe> Primero escuchen y luego les doy el espacio para repetir. Ok. Camera. 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 Es como que dijera cámara, Algo así. Camera. 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 Ahora sí. Now yes. Repeat. Camera. 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 Cell phone, share, uh -huh. chair, 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 chair. Aquí es donde tienen que tener muchísimo, pero muchísimo cuidado, porque esto es chair, silla, chair, chair, chair. Existe otra palabra que suena muy similar, que todos ustedes conocen también pero tiende a confundirnos en pronunciación, que es like compartir, right? Sure. Share. Escuchen bien la diferencia. Escuchen bien la diferencia. El primero con C. Share. 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 El segundo ya con la letra S es share. 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 Con la S yo ya me extiendo en mi, en mi sonido porque lo pronuncio como debe de ser, como una S. Share, share, share. ¿Se nota la diferencia? Yes. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Share, share. Ok. ¿Y esto sería share o share? Ajá. Uh -huh. No understand your question. Aquí, y esa palabra, esa que está aquí, abajito, la que les estoy... Marcando ahorita aquí en la que les he puesto este eh, chequecito verde aquí. Esto sería chair o share? Share. Chair. Ah, Muy bien. Muy bien. Chair. Luego desk. 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 DVD. 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 Reader. Y reader e reader for example una tablet una tablet es un e reader verdad e reader un ipad keys 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 qué son las keys they are the llaves exactly llaves keys ajá uh -huh. correct laptop 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 case. What is that? ¿Qué 
¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es una laptop case? En el bolsón para guardar laptop. Exactly. Un estuche, un bolsón, un bolso para guardar una laptop, right? Table, table, table. Umbrella, 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 umbrella. Now, when it rains, you have to use an umbrella. Ahora cuando llueve, ustedes tienen que cargar una umbrella. Umbrella. Okay? Yes, umbrella. right? Watch, watch, watch. Watch. Uh -huh. Then we have pen, pen, pen. Pen. Yes? Pen. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, ahora sí, por favor, redacten, completen estos cuatro statements con el vocabulario, por favor, y amplíenlos. Please. Uh, all things, teacher. Most of them. Traten de usar muchos elementos. No todos, pero bastos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tire, Magdalena. Yeah. Yes, so much. I imagine. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah. But almost, Magdalena. Almost, almost. <laughs> and we have the amazing. We have an amazing week. Yes. Okay. The next, the next uh, course, the next class, start um, after the vacation or not? I suppose. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I am excited. Uh, <laughs> You're excited. Nice. Yeah. Very good. See. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so <laughs> let's let's start. Well, let's continue. Students checking. Uh, lo vamos a ir haciendo de esta manera. Okay. Cada uno me va a ir compartiendo un ejemplo. En realidad voy a tener 11 ejemplos. Ok. Según, no importa que ya lo hayan dicho, pues, ni modo, usted lo repite, ¿verdad? O le integra algo más para que suene diferente. Empezamos con Luz Angélica, es la primera que me aparece en pantalla. So, Luz Angélica y luego seguimos con Liliana. Ok. Uh... ¿Uno de cada uno o Just one. cualquiera de esos cuatro? Only one. Solo okay. one. There are some keys. Thank you. Ileana, continue. There is a camera on the table. A, a camera or a camera? Ileana, a camera or a a camera. There is an camera on the ah, table. Ah, ah, porque es con C, inicia con C, entonces C es una consonante. A ah, camera. Ah, ah, camera. A camera. A camera. Okay. A ah, camera. Ah, okay. Camera. Thank you. Yvette, continue, please. Yvette. There is an umbrella color yellow in the table. Okay, there is a yellow, repeat, there is a yellow. There is a yellow. Umbrella. Yellow. Umbrella. Umbrella, yes. Cuando quieran mencionar el objeto, el color del objeto, mencionan primero el color y después el objeto, ok? Red okay. apple, manzana roja. A yellow banana, una banana amarilla. A green tree, árbol verde. A black Jacket, una chaqueta negra. Okay. Eh, okay. Bueno, no, sería eh, color, el color negro, ¿verdad? Ajá, chaqueta color negra. El color, eh, o dark, oscuro, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yesenia, your example, su ejemplo, Yesenia. They, they is a um, tablet. There is a tablet. No, a table. Que sería table. Table, ok. Thank you. Reina Guadalupe. The camera is between of DVD and laptop. Thank you. Magdalena. Um, there is, uh, in this picture, there is um uh, backpack there, there is, is a backpack. backpack there is a backpack excellent Grisia I can see a cell phone I can see a cell phone very good Mauricio um there is a camera on the desk there is a camera on the desk thank you Lisef del Carmen There is a backpack, umbrella. There is a backpack and an umbrella. Okay, and Jose Correa. In this picture, there, pardon. <clears throat> in this picture, there are an umbrella and the laptop case on the table. Okay, there is an umbrella in a laptop case on the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Perfect. That's how you have to say it. Very, very good. That's how you actually say it, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excellent. Good. Good job. Perfect. Yes. Uh, well, so this is what, a, a, well, a little part of what we practice. Esta es como una práctica pequeña de lo que habíamos trabajado antes. Y aquí va eh, contextualizado a ejemplo, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que toda la sesión de ahora es para vocabulary practice, ¿verdad? Una preparation. So, uh, this, where is the apple? In the first picture, the apple is... Hmm. 
between the, the boxes. Picture, exactly. In the second picture, the apple is. Hmm. Entonces, front. le recomiendo que hagan lo siguiente. Por favor, tomen una captura de esta foto. No es necesario que todos la tomen, solo al, alguno, ¿verdad? Que okay, lo deseen tomar. Yes. Take a, a screenshot, right? Do you have it? Yes, I have it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Fantástico. Muy bien. Entonces, uh, well, in this moment, I'm sending you, right? En este momento los envío a salas de discusión. Y por favor, quiero que utilicen esta estructura de pregunta. Where is the apple? Y lo que ustedes tienen que hacer es, según la imagen de la manzana, describir dónde es que está. Prácticamente la misma imagen les da la respuesta. Al final, yo lo que quiero ver es qué tanto dominan las construcciones. Where is the apple? In the first picture, the apple is, y ustedes me indican dónde, cómo, bajo qué preposición. Es todo, todo lo que yo quiero ver. ¿Ok? ¿Clear? Ok, it's clear. Uh -huh. ¿Los clear. demás estamos claros? ¿Sí? Yeah. ¿Es it clear? Yes, ok, perfect. Diríjanse, por favor, a su sala de discusión. Y una cosita. Asegúrense de que alguien proyecte. El propósito de la imagen es para que ustedes le tomaran la captura y alguien se encargara de um, proyectar la verdad. Igual, por si acaso, yo se las comparto en sus chats de, 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 de sala. There, and you can have it, right? Practice, ok. Let's go. Go to your breakout rooms, please. Um, diríjanse a sus salas de discusión y vamos a empezar el bueno, yo voy monitoreando ¿verdad? haciendo las, el, el, el acompañamiento so, go please uh -huh. Y, ¿qué es de Apple? José Corea. The Apple is under the table. Under the table. Vaya, ahora pregúntele usted a alguien más, José Corea. Listen. Hello, hello. 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 
no se escucha, Tisha. Teacher. Now, do you listen to me? Ahora sí se escucha. Hoy sí, sí, señor. Bien. Bien. Entonces aquí es below. 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 Ajá. Below. Under or below. Cualquiera de los dos es válido. Ambos representan lo mismo. Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Below. Under or okay. below. Yes. In the Picture the apple is below the table. Uh -huh. Yes, that is correct. Yes. Okay, Luz, where is the apple? Sorry. Um, the apple is next to the book. Whose picture? También el objeto. Puede ser aparte de Apple, puede ser el libro también. Ok. It can be the book. Aquí está el libro. Ajá, pueden cambiarlo. Lo que quiero es que jueguen con todos los elementos que aparecen aquí. También aquí hay cajas. There are boxes. También está una mesa. Entonces, todos esos elementos, sillas, todo eso. Ok. Not just the Apple. Ahí les puse yo Apple solo como ejemplo, pero puede ser más. Eh, un minutito más para que trabajen como grupo porque ya los tengo que intercambiar otra vez, mezclar para que practiquen todos con todos. So, go, please. In the sex, the pictures, uh, the apple is next to, next to the book. In the first picture, in, in the apple is between. ¿Cómo se dice caja? Boxes. Okay. Is in between box. Boxes. Okay. In the second, Apple is in front of book. Okay. Um in the four picture, the apple is below uh, of the table. In the three picture, the apple is behind to the book. Creo que también tendríamos que agregar eso donde aparecen las la mesa y las dos sillas, ¿verdad? Sería como in the fourth picture the chair the chair is to the left of table but it's a good idea you can integrate everything the idea is for you to mix it up everything la idea gracias a Dios ya la, ya la, la tienen es eso que ustedes mezclen todo y utilicen todos los elementos posibles ok perfect perfect so un minutito más y los uh, luego regresamos a la eh, principal, ok, to the main uh -huh. yes
Okay, students, thank you very much. I hope you practiced enough. I hope you, you really, really practice as you were expected to. So this is what we're gonna do in this moment. This is what we have in this moment. Uh, on page 47 from your manual, in the página 47 de su manual, uh, aparece un pequeño ejercicio muy interesante en la misma línea de vocabulary practice. Write sentences about the places around your workplace. Esta vez van a pensar en los lugares que están alrededor de su trabajo y van a hacer una pequeña descripción entre ellos sobre lo que tiene y dónde están locados, eh, localizados. Por ejemplo, digamos que Luz va a decir de que there is a bank. Digamos que hay un, un bank o, por ejemplo, un there is a cafeteria. Hay una cafetería enfrente del trabajo de Luz. Entonces, Luz is going to say, there is a cafeteria in front of my job, right? Or there is a cafeteria in the corner of what? Cicimiles Street, for example. De la calle Cicimiles. Uh, en esquina hay un, una cafetería, una cafeteria. Y eso es lo que van a hacer. Tiene que ser con lugares alrededor de su trabajo. Around your job. ¿Ok? Students, is it clear? ¿Estamos claros? Yes, teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Sí. Digamos que Magdaleno va a decir que hay una tiendita cerca de su casa. Entonces, bueno, cerca de su trabajo. Entonces, he's gonna say, there is a mini store. Hay una mini tienda, una tiendita, una tienda pequeña, right? There is some mini store, right? Mm -hmm. Behind my job, atrás de mi trabajo. O atrás del lugar donde trabajo, my work. Do it, please, in this moment. Do it, do it. Teacher, sería correcto decir, my job is into the, the centro comercial. Shopping mall. Shopping mall. Uh -huh. uh, sí. Ajá, porque sería Plaza Mundo Shopping Mall. Ok, ok. It's correct. Yeah. Este es mi ejemplo. This is my example. Y aquí está mi ejemplo. Para que ustedes lo tomen en consideración. Bakery, digamos. Eh, uy, no. Me equivoqué aquí. Perdón. Aquí sería. Así sería. Drugstore. Una farmacia. Alongside my job, there is a drugstore. A la par de mi trabajo hay una farmacia. Así. ¿Ok? ¿Got it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Do it, please. Más o menos en esa línea vamos trabajando. Please, please, please. Teacher, I say to you, next to my job, I have a dental clinic. Ok. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Teacher, yes. sería, yeah. vamos a responder como en mi trabajo, yes. enfrente, al lado, atrás. Correcto, okay. excelente. Hay tal cosa. Exacto. Ah, ok. okay. Puede ser cualquier lugar, teacher. It can be any place. Mm -hmm. okay. Any place, yeah.
Hey, teacher, uh, how do you say chalet in English? In cafeteria. English? <laughs> cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yes. Cafeteria. Finish. Thank you, Los Angelica. I appreciate it. Okay, Lisa, I saw your message already. Yeah, finish the others, not yet, no? I finished the chair. Excellent, Magdaleno. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Finished the chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántos ejemplos? Eh, there should be five, Crisia. Cinco, porque cinco aparecen acá. Pero los que tengas también, o sea, igual, ¿verdad? Calidad sobre cantidad, no se preocupe. ¿verdad? Con dos ejemplos que tenga, pero que los tenga bien estructurados, a mí eso me dice mucho. Me basta y me sobra, no hay problema. Excelente. Vi <risa> <risa> así como, ay, no, teacher. <laughs> Solo tengo dos, tres, ¿ah? Sí, no, no hay problema. <laughs> two. You have two. Dos. Ah, no, no, está bien, no hay problema. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, Magdaleno, usted nos dirige la actividad. Uh -huh. Le damos el teacher time, el momento que sea teacher. Ajá, Magdaleno. <laughs> with the, uh -huh. the Tell the us your company. Board. And yes. Aquí viene el reto. Me gustaría que en vez de decirme su my job, my workplace, ustedes dicen the name of the company you work for and you uh, say the, the positions, right? The locations, bakery, cafeteria, and everything. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, with real information? Not necessarily. The ones you have written. You have to say it's like that. Ok. Eh, yo solo no le escribí el, el nombre de la empresa ni nada, solo le puse uh, de mi trabajo. Ok, perfect, no problem. Super. Ok. Number one is gym. Near to my job, there is a gym. Uh, number two, soccer field. In, in front of my job is a soccer field. Library. Is the number three mm -hmm. behind my job? There is a library. And number four, cafeteria. cafeteria. Inside my job, um, cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yeah. Okay, cafeteria. Inside my job, there mm -hmm. is a cafeteria. And the last one is police station. Um, 
at the left side of my job, there is a police station. This is my examples. Nice, excellent. Yeah, very, very good. Excellent, Magdaleno, very Thank good. You. Very, very good, yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent, 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 excellent. Uh, Magdaleno, you decide, you say, see, I can see. You decide. Okay. I choose, choose uh, Ileana. Ileana, okay. Mm -hmm. Ileana, hoy casi no la vemos, Ileana, hoy solo vemos. De acá, ahora sí la vemos. <laughs> okay. In my work next to there is veteran, veterinary clinic. Uh -huh. In my work in front of there is Concha Viuda School. Okay. In my work behind be there is gym. In my work between there is laboratory and station police. In my work across from there is odontoli, odontol, no, odontology. Odontology. Odontology clinic. Okay. Finish. Thank you. Ileana, who continues? Can continue, Ileana? Uh, Yesenia, Jose Core, who? Crisia Vanessa. Okay. No Crisia, uh -huh. Okay, Crisia. Okay. Agrego una más, teacher. Okay, perfect. Um, there is a restaurant in front of my work. Yeah. Next to my work is the church, iglesia, yeah. sí. Church, yeah. In this school, there is a library. 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 Okay. Library. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Crisia, who's next? Can see? Crisia. Lisette. Lisette, okay. Okay. Okay, number one. Bakery or bakery? Come Bakery. Bakery, okay. Yeah. In front of my house, there is bakery. There is a bakery, uh-huh. Um, number two, restaurant. I went to the restaurant that is next to the bank. Next to the bank, uh-huh. Okay, three, bank. Yes. I will go to the bank that is next to the park. There is next to the park, uh huh. Okay, number um, four. Four. Library. My house is three books from the library. The library. Library. Library, yeah, from the library. library. Okay, library. Thank you, Liz. Uh, um, una última persona, por favor. Una última okay. persona. Último participante. Last participant. Yes, Liz. Uh, Jose Corea. Mr. Jose Corea, yeah. Hey. Okay. Okay. Uh, parking. In front of my work is is a parking. Mm -hmm. the supermarket. Near of my job is the supermarket, and in front is a coffee shop. In front is a coffee shop. Excellent. Very, very good. Yes, that is totally correct. Thank you. Thank you very much, participants. Very, very good. Esta clase, como les comentaba, es puro, puro practice, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso vamos una actividad tras otra, tras otra, tras otra, ya para ir cerrando con broche de oro. So, yes. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna um, send you right now into uh, rooms, but this time it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit different. Yes, let me see. There you are. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Esta vez van a estar eh, agrupados, right? Van a estar agrupados, agrupadas en pequeños uh, grupos, right? 
eh, bueno, prácticamente en parejas, pero van a estar, eh, sí, de hecho en parejas. ¿Qué es lo que van a realizar en este momento? Una conversación para concluir toda esa parte de there is, there are, where do you work, las prepositions y los quantifiers. Entonces, entre los dos van a construir una pequeña conversación que no sobrepase las seis, siete líneas máximo y van a eh, interpretarla aquí en la clase. Entonces, para eso van a tener cinco minutos para preparar su eh, conversation. Ok. Tres minutos para eh, practicarla y dos minutos para desarrollar. Todo el trabajo en un total de diez minutos. Ok. ¿Claro? 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 Ajá. Perfecto. Entonces, ahí va. Acepto la invitación, por favor. A cada uno le he asignado una, uh, una pareja. ¿Ok? Teacher, oh. teacher. Yes. Este, lo haría. O sea, ¿cómo? Utilizaríamos todo, digamos, todo lo que hemos visto desde la primera ¿Modo? clase o solamente lo de esta? ¿O cómo? De esta semana. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ajá, porque el vocabulary practice va dirigido esta semana. Yeah. Mm, ok. Ok, perfecto. Ahí va. Cualquier duda, ahí estoy. Ahí voy a ir yo monitoreando y ayudando. Siéntanse libres de preguntar.
Hi, good evening, Así. O oh, heroes, ya no me. O sea, para referirse como a, do, a dos chicas, algo así. Yo le puedo ver solo saludar normal. Hi. Ajá, digamos, este. Carla, hi, good evening. De ella le pongo. Eh, how are you, Carla? And this is my sister, podría decir, ella es mi hermana. Yes. Ah, yeah, ajá, perfecto. How are you, Carla? Y de ella le respondo. Eh, how are you, Carla? Eh, this is my sister. She is my sister. My sister, Lisette. Lisette is my sister. Lisette is my sister. Y usted ahí nos pregunta, Carla. Le pregunta. Entonces ahora yo pregunto. De un solo. Sí, sí. O sea, que, que, que ver, preguntaría, ¿dónde queda tu trabajo? Algo así, ¿va? Sí. ¿Cómo trabajas? ¿Cómo trabajas? Ajá, ok. ¿Cómo trabajas? ¿Cómo trabajas? ¿Cómo trabajas? ¿Cómo trabajas? Uh -huh, exactly. I okay. work uh -huh. in a hotel, Barcelona Hotel. Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Is que, perdón, no escuché. In Barcelona Hotel. Barcelona Hotel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces Iliana pregunta ¿A dónde está o dónde queda? Algo así para sacarlo de a la parte de frente de algo así. Uh -huh. Entonces yes. ahí sería It is It is your work? Is your work. No. Is no. It is no. Where is, where is, where is it? Algo así creo que es. Where is it? Where is it? Uh -huh. Where is it? Uh -huh. In you. Hey, no, entonces Carla me tiene que preguntar. No, sé. no yo, le dije, yo le dije, I work in a hotel Barcelona. Iliana okay. me pregunta, what is it? Where is it? Exactly. Where is it? Where entonces is it? ahí yo le voy a contestar. Uh -huh. Is... Eh, quiero ver. My workplace is, work is next to Bamboo City Mall. It is in. Dijo, perdón. My workplace. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. in, is in is is next to uh -huh. bamboo mall bamboo bamboo mall, mall. mall. Uh -huh. sí. okay. y ahí Carla le pregunta uh -huh. eh, a Lisset porque Lisset la va a contestar uh -huh. en you eh, Lisset le puedes preguntar en uh -huh. you Lizette, y de ahí Lizette que nos responda. Y, okay. y word da lugar. Entonces um, sería como eh, teacher. ¿Y qué agencia? Y ahí usted me daría la dirección. Ajá. Agencia teacher eh, is correct. Um, agency. Entonces salió el teacher. No, ahí está. Agency. 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 Ok. Y para preguntar en qué agencia, en which agency. Sí, ¿verdad? Agency. Ajá. Ah, entonces, ahí me daría la, la, la dirección. Podría ser...
Ajá, entonces yo diría como Coronel Agency. Coronel Agency Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Do you know? Le pregunto si usted conoce. Pero no sé si no... aquí este no podría dar así como lo que estuvimos viendo ahorita en la dirección. En la dirección es. Ajá. Uh -huh. De dar. Alguna, ajá, así como la, una avenida. Hemos tenido problemas, teacher, con el audio. No. Entonces, ¿dónde me contestaría que vive, Cristian? Ahora sí estamos escuchando mejor el audio. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Algo le apretó, teacher. Ahí tengo mis troquitos para prever todas estas cosas. Sí, no se preocupe. Bien, okay. siga adelante. Voy a revisar con Ileana e Ibe, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Gracias. Nice. Ok. Y ve, si me escucha. Y ve, hello, si me escucha, sí. Hello. Hello, si me escucha, sí. Sí. Bien, ¿a qué les pasó? Se sí, les fue la señal, sí. Sí, es que la reina no, no la veía y no le escuchaba nada tampoco. Entonces me sacó. Me sacó y ya no podía ingresar. Ya. Comprendo, sí. Sí, ajá, eso estoy viendo que no les permitía ingresar. Uh -huh. Vaya, lo voy a reasignar entonces y ve. Lo voy a poner a trabajar con José en Crisia, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Ahí está ya, ya le envié la invitación. Thank you. Sí, la dejamos. No, así dejámoslo. Sí, así, así se ve bien. Ok. You can find, uh huh? Okay. You can find that across the street. Across the street. Thanks. Uh, thanks for your help. See you later. You're welcome. See you soon. Bye. Quizá ahí cerramos. Bye. Bye. Ahí estamos, teacher. Bye. Hey, ya vino el teacher. Easy, right? <laughs> yeah. Very, very easy. Yes, right. <laughs>
Yes. But it's really easy, yeah. O sea, eso es, por eso se les he, he ido como actividad tras actividad, tras actividad, tras actividad, para que se les vaya como que pegando más, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues, ese es el, el, el objetivo, en realidad. Ok, so, you finished, right? Yes. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. Sí, me escuchan bien, ¿verdad? Sí, Así como ¿no? algo... Como algo con eco. Creo que es porque tengo seis salas de discusión habilitadas, más la llamada general, más la grabación. Entonces, igual, ¿verdad? <ríe> Todo eso pesa. No, un, chico, un chico super conectado, teacher. That, that, that takes a lot. So, yeah, but, but here we are. Pero qué bueno que ya, ya, ya terminaron, ya concluyeron. Eso me parece muy, muy bien. Perfect. Pues nada, regresamos a la sala principal en un minuto. Solo les voy a dar un minuto a los demás. No sé si ya practicaron. ¿Ya están listos para presentarlo? Yeah. Una vez, pero yo digo que sale. <risa> Vaya, en ese minuto aprovechémoslo para una segunda vez y ya. Ya, ya van a ver que en menos del minuto ya lo regreso a la llamada. Ok. okay. Finish, teacher, me tengo que retirar, teacher. Sí, thank you. Yes, ok, finish, finish, people, yes, listos. Ready, ready, listos, listos, sí. Yes, okay. uh, who wants to start? Who wants to start? ¿Quién desea iniciar? Nosotros, ¿verdad, Carta? <laughs> Ok. Ok. Perfecto. Nos va a hacer falta eh, de Liset. Ok. Mm -hmm. Solo leen lo de Liset, entonces. No hay okay. Okay. Eh, lo leo yo. Bye. Good sí. Iniciamos en one, two, two three. 
Hi, good evening. How are you, Carla? Uh, Lisette is my sister. Lisette says, nice to meet you, Carla. Where do you work? I work in a in Barcelona hotel. Where is it? My workplace is next to Bamboo Mall and Julisat. In work Kinder Power. Uh, where is it? Isn't it? It needs to ro, rodan, ro, ro, run about. Run about Merdiot Platillo. Okay, see you later or Saturday at, at night in the party. Okay, bye. See you. Okay, bye bye. See you. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Muy bien, muy bien. Ahí les pueden reaccionar a sus compañeras. Muy bien. Ahí les pusieron los aplausos. Excellent. Very, very you, good. Teacher. Nice. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Good job. Excellent. So, um, who else wants to share? ¿Quién más desea compartir su conversation? <clears throat> Veo a Luz y a Magdaleno viéndose fijamente, así como en Wii. Wii. Ok, there you go. Ok. Ok. One, okay. two, three. Hello, can you help me please? Good morning, where can I help you? I need to know where is my office. Can you tell me? Yes. Are you a new supervisor? Yes, I am. Of course. Your office is the next to the copy machine. And sorry, I need one more thing. I need to know where is a drugstore around here. Oh, you can find that across the street. Oh, thank you. You thank you for your help. See you later. You're welcome. See you soon. Excellent. Okay, thank bye. you. Very good. Thank you very much. Excellent. Good, good job. Very good job. Thank you, students. That is totally okay. Perfect. Thank uh, you. Well, can we have Mauricio and Yesenia. Okay. Okay. There you go. One, two, three. Hello, Mauricio. Where do you work? Hi, Yesenia. I work in a school. And you, where do you work? I work in Bank for America. Serious. I have a cousin who works in that sign bag. In which agency? In the corner, Avenue Melara. Oh, oh, in front, in front of the hospital. Yes, there. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Jason. Nice to see you too, Jason. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. A, I don't know, like in this case, Jose and Crisia, are you ready? Crisia? Okay, yeah, she's there. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Hi, Jose, Jose Correa. Uh, hi, Crisia. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, what do you do? I am a technical support at CAES. Where do you live? Okay, I live in La Libertad. Um, is there a doctor? Where do you live? Live. Live. Where do you live? Live. live? Yes, there is. In front of an ice cream shop. Okay. Finish. Yeah. Finish. Hey. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you. Excellent students. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good job. Yes, that is the general idea. 
Perfect. Very, very good. Muy bien. Y pues nuestra última actividad para esta noche, ya para cerrar con broche de oro, to, de broche de oro perdón, todos esos temas que estuvimos trabajando. Bien sencillo. En la página 48 de su manual tienen el ejercicio número 3. Y terminamos con eso, las preposiciones. And we finish. So, complete it, please. Exercise number three. From page 48. From your manual. Teacher, fíjese que estoy teniendo problemas porque veo como todo borroso el... Pero no sé si será mi computadora que pero no alcanzo a leer lo que dice porque se mira así como la letra toda movida. No sé si será mi internet o qué. En B. Puede ser. Ah, tal vez sí. Eh, abandona y reingresa. Pero en no, cuestión bye, bye, de segundos. Bye. Ajá. Ahorita, sí, Ajá. Eso le puede ayudar. Sí. Solo segundos. Bye. Do you work on Sundays, Magdalena? Yes, right. You work the seven days of the week, right? Are you talking to me? Because your microphone is off. Sorry. No, I. <laughs> I thought we were talking to a person next to you, and I was like, "Is he talking to me?" I, I talking. I am talking with you. <laughs> I work the Sunday and the Saturday. We have, okay, okay wow. and the Sunday and the Sunday we have the, the on Sunday. On Sunday. Mm -hmm. On 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 Sunday. Sorry, yeah. uh -huh. on Sundays I have um, service. In the morning yeah. and in the afternoon, uh -huh. and have a, a dinner, no, a lunch with with twenty five or three children. Children. And, oh, okay. mm -hmm, and the Saturday too, I work with the children and John, and all the week. <laughs> Practically, right. Practically yes. all the week. Uh -huh. Yeah, every day. Uh, and do you have um this um by any chance do you have a a, 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 a vigil? Do you have that like vigilia? I guess that's the name. And then um, vigilia is yeah. has several nights. Is in Saturday. Saturday. Uh, 7th of August. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. of Why? Okay. You have uh -huh. one, 7th you have of one August. A month. Una vez al mes. Once a month. No. Yes, once a month. And the first, and the first Saturday of the month. Each month. The first Saturday of each month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. The first month. Saturday of each month. Yes, okay. of course. Mm -hmm. That is sí. okay. Vigilia. That is vigilia. Is no night service. It can be, but to give it the correct name, that is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay. So please complete yeah. the exercise right now. Finish. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna call the attendance once again. So you just have to tell me present, don't forget. Um, here, yes. Carlota Hueso de Cepeda. Mm -hmm. Claudia Lisset Recinos. Claudia, Claudia here, 
Uh, Diana Margarita, she did not connect today. Idalia, Iliana Idalia Serrano Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Arnoldo Correa. Present. Thank you. Jose Iván Portillo. Carla Patricia Pineda. Present. Excellent. Uh, Crisia Vanessa Enriquez. Present. Lizette del Carmen Pineda. She was here, but she just left um, because of an activity. Lucia Gabriela Vázquez Menjiva. Luz Angélica Muñoz Bustillo. Present. Yes, Magdalena Escalante Orantes. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Present. Uh, Mauricio y Saúl uh, Calderón Esquivel. Mm -hmm. Raúl Oswaldo Ramírez Fabián, Reina Guadalupe, Rivas Ventura, Sara Judith, Miranda Cruz, Stephanie Emperatriz Orellana Castillo, Tomasa Ibet Ramírez Castillo, Verónica Yasmín Ramírez Ramírez, Yesenia Elizabeth Cárcamo Serrano. Present. Excelente. Thank you. Is only the exercise three? Three. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Did you finish, students? Yes. Yes. Sir. Everybody finish? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Perfect. 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 So, can we check together, please? Let's see what we have in here. Well, your ideas, what you have written. Here you are. He has a presentation, the meeting. At. The correct at. answer is at, okay. At. Thank you. At the meeting room. Do you all have the same? Los demás tienen la respuesta igual, similar? Yeah? Yes. The laptop is the main table. On the main table. On. On the main table. Mm -hmm. Yes, on the main table. That is correct. Uh, the exhibition is San Miguel. In. In San Miguel. In. In, In. San Miguel. San Miguel, uh -huh. that is correct. Uh, where is your boss? My boss is? At work. At work. At work, yes. My boss is at work, yes. Uh -huh. Human resources is on the turf. Um, <laughs> you say it. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The yes, same. I, I gave you the answer. Yes. <laughs> On the third floor. Yes. Nice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> On the third floor. And Juan is <clears throat> the photocopy center. At in. the copy center. In or at? In. At because it's a room. At. at. It's at. Uh huh. At because that's a room, yes. Mm -hmm. At the photocopy center, yes. Mm -hmm. There we have it. At, on, in, at, on, at. That is how you should have it, okay? That is how you are supposed to have it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So very nice students, very, very good. Are there any questions related to the prepositions? Ya quedó bien, bien claro todo ese tema de las prepositions? Yes? Yes. Yes? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, tell me, um, well, some announcements before we, we, we finish it all, right? Like two minutes for announcements. The first one is uh, related to the survey, right? Satisfaction survey. Recuérdense, mañana, hasta mañana, completamos la encuesta de satisfacción. 
la van a completar conmigo. Espero que hayan seguido la indicación y no la hayan completado aún. Espero. Eh, quiero ver, esa es una. Dos. Recuérdense que hasta ahora tienen para completar sus cinco tareas de la semana. Hasta ahora. Ya en la mañana yo, mañana por la mañana ya ingreso esas notas y ya, ¿verdad? Quiero, quiero tenerlas. Mañana realizan junto conmigo también su examen final. Yo les voy a dar el espacio para que uh, realicen su examen final. Y quizás lo que les pediría es, y yo sé que es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Porque a veces se dan situaciones, pero es parte de su compromiso. Que permanezcan las dos horas conectados. Recuerden que ustedes tienen que tener el 80% de, de su asistencia. Igual eh, les he estado dando seguimiento, ¿verdad? Les he estado escribiendo, pidiéndoles que. Así, ¿verdad? De manera individual y también colectiva, que ustedes se puedan conectar a tiempo con su cámara y todo, ¿verdad? Que son requerimientos no míos, no de inglés de corporativo, sino que de Insapor. Entonces, que nos ayuden a cumplir con eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, las tareas, hoy es el límite para entregarlas, las cinco tareas, ¿verdad? Pequeñas, como ustedes saben, son tareas que no le lleva más de cinco minutos en realizarlas. Menos Incluso lo que la lleva. tarea de mañana, dicho. Ya está habilitada también, sí. Ya está habilitada, que es bien sencilla. Y todo es lo que hemos visto ahorita. There is, there are prepositions. ¿Ok? Justo lo que hemos visto esta semana. Quantifiers, right? Ahí está. El examen y la encuesta la realizamos mañana. Eh, por favor, sí les pido una vez más su asistencia completa, su participación activa. Llevamos ya a la última etapa, ya solo mañana. Y eso, ¿verdad? Es lo que yo les pido a ustedes que puedan completar y puedan tener ahí de la mano. Pues mañana conmigo real, realizan esa encuesta de satisfacción. ¿Ok? ¿Quedamos claros? ¿Is everything clear? ¿Ya? Yeah? clear. Yes, sir. Perfect. Excelente. Ese día le correspondía a Lizeth. O well, a Lizbeth, perdón. Las confundo. No sé por qué las confundo. Es Claudia Lizeth. Y ella es Lizbeth. A Lizbeth la asesoría personal de 10 minutos, pero por motivos bien, bien fuertes, eh, no se pudo quedar. Entonces, no sé, en este caso, por ejemplo, Luz Angélica me ayudaría a cambiarla. Tiene usted ahora y ya mañana se la dejo a, a, a Lisbeth. Sí, yes, teacher. Ok, okay. perfecto. Bien, entonces solo me quedo con Luz Angélica para cubrir el, 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 el espacio de aprendizaje, para habilitárselo. Y pues eso es todo. Okay, los demás nos vemos mañana. I see you tomorrow for our final class, para nuestra última, última clase. Okay? So, see you and take care. Nos vemos mañana. No falten, bye. por favor, por favor. No falten. So, see you. Bye bye. See you. Bye. bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Good bye bye. Good evening. Good evening. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Ok, so, Luz Angélica, ese es su espacio para aclarar dudas, para poderle explicar algo, para practicar algo con usted, alguna, algo que le, no le haya quedado claro del todo sobre las clases, algo. Actually, I don't have a doubt. Just practice, entonces, solo la practice. Yeah. Vale, perfecto, bien. Los Angélica, yo le voy a hacer una serie de preguntas. Usted me las va respondiendo conforme, ¿verdad? Perfect. So, where do you work? I work in Procifa. Okay. Can you mention two of your responsibilities okay. at your job? In the morning, I send a safe report. In the afternoon, check uh, the social network and answer the message. Okay. Are you a community manager? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. Very, yes. very good. Yes. Do you post in English? Post in English? Do you post in English? Not yet. Because Do you want this... to post in the future? Yeah. Um, sometimes I uh, work in a call center. Yeah. And I work in an English account. 
in an English account. So yeah. you have the experience, you know already. Mm, more or less. Okay, very good, very, very good. So, um, well, tell me, what time do you usually start and finish your shift? Well, my shift starts at 8 a.m. and finish at 5 a.m. Finishes? 5 p.m. Finishes at 5 p.m. 5 p.m., okay, very, very good. How do you practice your English? With my mom in my home and the night. <laughs> okay, after the class or before the class? Uh, sometimes after and sometimes before. Some, sometimes after and sometimes before. Very, very good, yes. So I, wanted, I want to know a little bit more just to, to, to close up that part, right? To finish up that part. I just want to know like which is your weakest area of the English language, the weakest area. Weakest, me, weak, weak means. Uh, yeah. we, uh, weak uh, semana. In no, semanas. no, no. Weak. Which is the weakest area? Weakest. Uh -huh. Let me chat. Let me chat it. Let me write it on the chat for you to have it. Okay. The weakest. Weakest. Tu, well, weakest. Como debilidad más grande o su punto débil más grande en el inglés. Your weakest. It's a grammar. Grammar. Yes. Grammar. Grammar. Okay. Which is structure yes. specifically? Debe haber algún verbo estructural porque lo disculpo. Uh, the preposition, maybe, um, I don't know, because I, all times I, uh, I learn English in my job, uh -huh. but uh, I speak a uh, technical language. Ah, uh -huh. but I don't know, uh, ne but never understand the grammar. Okay. For example, in this case that we have a preposition, are you skillful at community managing? Right? What do you think this means? Like, what would it be? Are uh, you skillful at community managing? Skill, uh, I don't remember that word. Skillful means talented. Ah, ah, perdón. Talented. Ah, okay. Skill. Mm -hmm. Are you skillful at community manager? Mm -hmm. ¿Te desenvuelve bien en el área de manejo, community managing? Yes, but it's in Spanish. <laughs> but in, because it's in Spanish, okay? Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Entonces, esta es una combinación más. Dice que se le dificulta ahora con las propositions. Uh -huh. Para que se le dificulte un poquito más. <ríe> no, mentiras. Para incrementar esa parte de vocabulary, creo que usted ya recuerda los adjectives plus prepositions. Imagina usted ya recuerda los adjectives plus prepositions, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, uh, good at. Oh. What? No. No. Vaya. Le voy a dar un ejemplo más sencillo. Rapidito. Okay. Luz good is at. good at cooking. Luz es buena para good cocinar. Solo son ejemplos, no es nada yeah. personal. Nada, nada personal. Solo son That ejemplos. is true. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Luz is terrible at sport. Okay, entonces usted puede utilizar esta combination. Okay. Eh, perdón, he perdido mi lupa. Eh, this combination, right, of an adjective y un adjetivo con una preposición. Terrible okay. adjective. At preposition. Luego good at y cooking, ¿verdad? Eh, good okay. adjective. At preposition. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Solo regáleme uno o dos ejemplos rapidito. To finish up that part. Uh, 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 uh. Um, si quiere escríbalos. Ya con eso vamos terminando. No le va a robar más de un minuto. No, no voy. Ajá. Okay. 
Esteban is good at mathematics. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y usted puede ir variando los adjetivos. Puede ser eh, marvelous at, fabulous at, bad uh -huh. at. Siempre va a ir esa combinación con at, ¿ok? okay? Para describir. Okay. I am good at English. Soy bueno para hablar inglés. Okay. I am not good. Y también puede ser negativo. I'm not uh -huh. good at speaking in public. Public, okay. sorry. I'm not good at speaking in public. No soy bueno para hablar en público. Okay. Okay? ¿Ok? Perfect. So that's how you use it. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. Thank you. ¿Ya ves? Siempre se aprende algo nuevo. Ok, Lisa. Thank you very much. First of all, I have to tell you that you have good pronunciation. Since day one, you showed that to me. Your grammar is really good, even though you say that you have these problems with grammar, like you feel it a little bit difficult for you, you don't show it. You don't show it because you manage the grammar very well. Your ideas are very coherent and, and, and concise. So that is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Perfect, Luz. Have a good evening. Enjoy you. your, and see you. Tomorrow. See yeah. you tomorrow. Bye bye. Last. Take care. Last. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so that's what we practice today related to the prepositions, the review, well, the vocabulary practice related to the prepositions and the constructions of their is and their are as well. So we practice on this and the informate, well, the exercises I share with you. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me see. There it is. Yeah, this is what I erased this already. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Okay, so guys, see you tomorrow. Have a good day and let's be ready for our final video conference, which is tomorrow. Bye bye.